little tips and tricks video for you guys that listen to the VHF UHF ranges when sporadic e-skip happens like we have right now so you know I always give you my trick is that the Super Bowl channel channel 6 on CB or 27025 is a great indication of something happening in the upper parts of the spectrum so this morning June 5th we have uh, sporadic e-skip June 5th 2019 that means for a VHF UHF scanner listener, one of the things that you should tune around is above 30 megahertz, up to the six meter band. So you can start tuning around the FM portion of 30 to 50 megahertz, which is often called VHF low. Even better if you have a longer antenna, telescopic antenna, something like that, because you never know what you could find when 27 megahertz or 10 meter, even the 10 meter band is open. It's very close to 30 megahertz. And most of the time, the propagation, the skip, actually is good also on that frequency range. So tune 30 to 50, you might hear uh, law enforcement, police, uh, fire departments, all sorts of signals that are not local to you, but actually skipping like shortwave signals via that sporadic e-skip. And it actually makes a lot of fun. What I usually do is set the radio to scan 30 to 50. And I leave it like that, scanning 30 to 50 constantly. If you do that and there's a lot of sporadic e-skip activity, like I said, you should actually be hearing a lot of interesting signals in there. There should be some skipping over. Then it comes to, of course, the, I would say, the detective work going on the Internet and trying to identify what you're listening to. The other thing you should listen to, and if sporadic e-skip is strong enough, is the 6 meter ham band, 50 to 54 megahertz. Part of it is in FM mode, the lower part of it is in single sideband, if you have single sideband capable uh, communications receiver. Tune around 50 to 54 megahertz, you might be surprised. i give you an idea, when there was a lot of sporadic e-skip a couple of years ago, I actually heard a FT8 signal from Brazil. So it gives you an idea that it could be very, very surprising. And last but not least, when Sportic eSkip happens, tune the FM radio band. Take your favorite receiver, and especially if you have a lot of empty spaces between stations, tune around the lower part of that band from, you know, 87 to up to, you know, 100 megahertz, or tune all of it if you want. And, um, when Spartak Eskip gets real strong, even the lower part of the FM band can actually bring you a station from really far away. So that's today's little tips and tricks. Uh, don't forget to know if there's uh, some Spartak Eskip. You can go on dxmaps.com or you can simply go to channel 6 of the CB band and uh, check if there's activity like right now. So, hey, this is almost unheard. He wanna do what he wanna do, they wanna know what